got some big feelings. I just worked out for the first time. So I'm six weeks, one day postpartum. And it's not even about the workout. Um, I was going to be like, oh my gosh, I worked out, blah, blah, blah. It's not. It's not. It has nothing to do with the workout. Although I feel like I killed it. Um, I didn't die and I didn't throw up. So there's that. I don't know if I'll be able to get back up after this because my legs are complete jello. Um, and I even chose a workout that kind of scares me um, from Morning Meltdown 100. It That's my favorite program, but Cardio Meltdown is the hardest workout, I, in my opinion. So I chose that just to mess with my mind, just an extra smidge, just to um, prove to myself that I can do it is really why I did that. And so I just did it. And did I modify? Yes. And um, did my knees hurt because I'm 20 pounds heavier? Yes. But I did it. And um, I was thinking like, I wanted to put a post, but it, I don't, I'm, I'm so bad with words, but I, I could almost cry because I'm so proud because it has nothing to do with the workout. Um, four years ago, after I had my guy at four, ooh, he's almost four. After I had my son, I started a workout's what started everything. Um, but it's who I've become because of the workout. It's who this whole journey I've realized it was never it was never my body and what what kind of workout I could do or how hard of a workout I could do. It's only my mind and and I would have the person I was four years ago would have never worked out six weeks in one day postpartum. Um, the person I was four years ago or even a year ago, um, I would have thought, well, I have a friend who had twins. I have two friends that had twins that I swear they bounced back in a day. Dang you too. But I don't even, I don't care. I'm just happy for them, but I'm on my own journey. So I don't care how fast other people bounced back after having a kid. And that's huge. That's huge. They do them and I do me. And so, so what? And and if you're listening to this and you're pregnant right now and you didn't work out till a year later, whatever. It, so it's not about the, it's not about the comparison. We're all on our own journey, but it's about who I've become because I started something. And, um, that workout a long time ago challenged my mindset and I have been doing so much work on my mind. And that's, that's where if, if you need to start somewhere, I would, I would challenge you to start with your mind, um, start with personal development. But, you know, I, I did this workout and I was done. Um, and the, the guys were gone. Brian just got, Brian and MacGyver just got home and, I was like, I did a workout and, and I could almost cry, but it wasn't even about the workout. It was about the fact that I just did, the fact that I knew it was going to be hard, the fact that I knew it was going to suck. And I did it anyways, because, um, I have a strong enough why, you know, now, right now our health is really important. You know, if you don't have your health, well, it's always important. If you don't have your health, you have nothing. But right now in this craziness in the world, having a healthy mind and body is so important. Um, and so if that's not a big enough why, then look at your kiddos, look at your nieces and nephews, look at your friends who look up to you. Um, what kind of role model do you want to be? What kind of example do you want to be? I loved that. I was doing my cool down right when MacGyver walked into the workout room and he saw his mama finishing a workout. He saw his mama get back up after you know, having a baby and he knew I had a boo-boo on my belly and knew that I couldn't carry him and knew that I had to do things differently for a while. But now he just saw me finish. He just saw me do the hard thing. And that's my why, you know, and I have nieces and I have students and I have friends. And, you know, if you can do that, if that can be a strong enough why for you, or maybe your why is just, um, taking care of your health right now so you don't feel so scared and going out in the world, you know, whatever it is. But anyways, I just wanted to share this because it's not about the workout. It has nothing to do with the workout. It has everything to do with who you can become just because of a challenge. So it could be about the divorce. It could be about um, the scary health thing that you went through. It could be about the relationship, the job change, the hard conversation. Um, it's not about that. It, it's its about who you became because of it. I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm rambling, but I had big feelings 
And I just wanted to share that. So I'm celebrating myself because I just did a workout, but I'm really celebrating who I've become um, over these four years. And it didn't, it, it's hard. It didn't start easy. You just have to start somewhere. Um, so if you're scared of something, lean in and do it anyways, or, or test the waters anyways, try it anyways. Um, so if you were looking for a sign to start, if you were looking for something to help you just get going, maybe this is it. I hope you guys are having a good day.